right on Wild Chicago. It's our all death show. We'll shop for cut rate caskets at a factory in Gurney, examine burial traditions at a traveling funeral museum, bury our best friend at Valhalla Pet Cemetery, visit the very last terminal at O'Hare, discover Chicago's hidden grave sites with cemetery expert Helen Sclair, and then be terrorized and terrified at the Raven's Grin Inn, a year round haunted house where Halloween is just the day in October. <laughs> and acoustical levitation at the Evanston Research Park. If you pass through Mount Carroll, Illinois, be sure to visit Jim Warfield, who has turned his home into a haunted house and takes great pleasure in toying mercilessly with his customers. Hello? Mr. Raven? <laughs> Jim, good to be here. <laughs> now, now, how long have you been in business? Well, I started doing haunted houses when I was about eight years old in my parents' basement. This house was built in, what, 1870, right? Yeah, 1870. Yeah. And after I bought the house, I found out my own great-grandfather was a bartender in this house about 1910. The city graveyard's right across the way on the next hill. And the tallest stone up there has my last name on it. So you believe there are actual ghosts in this house? Oh, yes. I've had things happen here that were very unusual. For instance, the most unusual thing was when I had a display built that worked off of a motion detector switch, and I was in the next room talking about it to a girlfriend I had at the time, and just then it kicked on and ran and made its own peculiar noise, and she got extremely terrified and ran out of the house. Was that your last date with this woman? Uh, it, it should have been, but it wasn't. <laughs> Jim, tell me, uh, most scary haunted houses only are open around Halloween, but you stay open year-round, right? Oh, yeah, I have to eat year-round. Hermaphrodite brand hair remover, satisfaction implied. One girl said, I think my dad uses that, and I said, yeah, but your mom does too, since they're the same person. Now, here's the Ravens grin in the pool, and no lifeguard on duty, though. I don't know if that's necessary. Now, you don't take a great big chunk like that. That wouldn't be nice. Maybe just a little tip like they do at the hospital. Wish you wouldn't. What the? <laughs> you seem to enjoy your job pretty well. I know, isn't that terrible? <laughs> this is Count Clockula, the vampire rooster who sucks at dawn, but she couldn't be here tonight. And here we have some Ravens grinning complimentary gum. I think it's sugarless now. Now, are you the uh, fearless uh, host that does anything in the uh, name of uh, journalism or? Uh... Well, I, I did the finger thing, didn't I? Let's check on him. Congratulations, you found your way out. This portion of the tour has been brought to you by Mr. Microphone. Step right up, please, and stand right there and be the human doorstop. You're overtrained for this job. It's only temporary. Don't expect a W-2. This is the bad dream bedroom. We offer a husband or wife training seminar in this room. Not tonight, dear. I have a headache. You can take a look down there if you want to. This can be a rather thrilling experience. This can be physically abusive. Like I say, two people have broken their legs on it. Makes it easy to track them in the snow. They walk in circles now. Woo! Jim, if somebody wants to pay a visit to the Raven's Grin Inn, where should they go? We're located in downtown Mount Carroll, behind the True Value Hardware Store. Phone number? 815-244-4746. Sometimes teenagers look at my old paintings and they say things like, Wow, man, you must have done a lot of heavy drugs in the 60s. <laughs> no, I didn't do any drugs then. Don't do any now because I don't want to share the credit. <laughs> we'll end his chorus.